Hi guys, I hope you're doing well out there. Uh, so I wanted to share some news for me. I think you guys will be a little little surprised because I've been so resistant to this, but I'm happy to announce that I have not been wearing my mask since last Monday. So it's been uh, a week today that I no longer wear the little surgical mask um, when I'm here at home. Now I still will not make a video without, you know, uh, my pearly whites in, but as far as, you know, here at home, yep, I finally let my guard down. I, I uh, let my vulnerability show and I'm so happy that I'm okay. And the funny thing is, I didn't announce it, okay? I didn't say to my family, okay guys, so from now on, I'm not gonna wear this mask. I didn't say anything. They're just used to seeing me and they don't tease me or anything. They just know that when I'm ready, I'll take it off, you know? So I actually have been thinking about it and it was Crimson who really was the straw for me, her video when she said, you know, I'm not gonna wear a mask around my house. I mean, it's kind of silly that I was doing that, but I just wasn't ready. And the bottom line is you should do what you feel is comfortable. And your family's gonna love you, whether you choose to go without a mask or any kind of that, you know, stuff, or whether you do. I mean, my family probably thought it was silly, but they never told me. They just, you know, appreciated me and they understood that I just wasn't ready and it wasn't that I was ashamed or anything like that it just it it's it's a big shock you know and although I was fine with myself looking in the mirror I'd make silly faces that was just me and I just wasn't ready to show that vulnerability to be honest with you but the funny thing is I didn't wear it when I went to bed Sunday night so I you know took them out and clean my mouth and all that. I love that. And uh, I went to bed, didn't say anything. Um, woke up the next morning. It was a work day, obviously. Got my coffee, came out here. Now in the morning, in the early morning, we don't have all the lights on, but you can see there are some lights on. It's not as bright as it is right now, but no one even said anything. And I said something to Ted the next day. I was like, yeah, I'm not, I said, I don't remember what I said, but I said something about not wearing the mask. I think I said something like, well, I'm not ready to, you know, come out with the lights blazing, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not wearing the mask anymore. And he was like, huh? Oh, so he didn't even notice. I mean, <laughs> you know, he probably didn't even realize that I didn't have him in because it was, you know, in the morning we were all, you know, getting ready for work and school, but it just, I thought that was funny. So, you know, I'm still not ready to, you know, run around with a flashlight and like, look at my mouth. I'm not ready for that, but I'm making progress. So I'm happy to announce that I am mask free. And I appreciate all of you guys understanding my, you know, position on that. Bottom line is you do what's right for you. No matter what anyone else thinks, don't let other people pressure you of doing it either way. It's whatever you feel is comfortable. That's like with anything in life, you know? It's up to you, it's what you're comfortable with. And if you're comfortable with sleeping with a in, I don't do that, but you know, you're you. And uh, it's not my place to tell you what you should or shouldn't do or how you should or shouldn't feel. You know, this is your deal. And uh, I just appreciate all you guys not giving me grief on it. And um, my family, of course, I really appreciate them just going with it <laughs> you know and now that I think about it, it it must look really silly for me to wear a mask for pretty much a year um, but I just I needed that time to kind of come to term with it I, I don't cry about it or anything like that you know I didn't cry the first time I saw myself but showing that vulnerability was 
probably one of the hardest things I've had to do since since doing this. You know, um, I don't have a problem, you know, not having my bottom in, but the whole top, that just changes everything. But, you know, whenever I do feel comfortable walking around with the lights on, I'll let you guys know. But I just, I was excited to come on and tell you guys. So, uh, lastly, I also have my appointment next Monday, the 15th for my impressions for my uh, permanent denture. So I'm really excited about that. I'm nervous, but I learned a little trick on measuring um, the teeth. That I like my teeth. They don't look very white on this video, but they are white. Um, I really like the size of them. Um, I like the shape of them, how they're oval. And then when I normally smile, I don't show the gum. So bottom line is I like everything about these and I want my permanent denture to um, match these, but just with you know better quality from Ibuclar Vivadin. So I learned a trick and I'll make a separate video on that, on how you could measure your teeth to find out what, what size you are, short, medium, long, then they're soft, bold, blah, blah, blah. I'll get into all that in a different video. All right, guys. Take care.